Determine the forces in members DE, EI, FI, and HI of the arc roof truss. So this is the figure. Then since there's no inclined load, the horizontal component of reaction at C is again zero. And because of the symmetry of the loading and the figure, the total load is 100 plus 75 plus 75, uh, 250 plus 25 plus 25 300 so therefore each vertical reaction here would be 300 over 2 or 150 kilonewtons as shown so 0 and 150 kilonewtons each there's no need to sum up moments about the other support by symmetry so first let's solve DE by Introducing this section here, 1, 1, and considering forces to the right. So we put the forces in tension for the cut members, red for the required, then green for the not required. Then we compute the angle that DE makes with the horizontal arc tan of 3 meters over 6 plus 4, so 10, arctan of 3 over 10. So theta DE is arctan of 0.3 or 16.699 degrees. There's no need to show that because I mentioned it. So we sum up moments about I or moment I is 0. The horizontal component is counterclockwise, so let's consider counterclockwise positive. The horizontal component of FDE is FDE cosine of 16.699 degrees, and the moment arm is 4 meters. So again, the, the horizontal component is FDE cosine of 16.699 then the moment arm is 4 so FDE cosine of 16.699 degrees times 4 the vertical component is also counterclockwise so plus FDE sine of 16.699 the moment arm is 6 meters upward then 6 meters then plus 150 the moment arm is 4 plus 6 plus 6 is 16 150 times 16 then minus 75 times 6 then minus 25 times 12 6 plus 6 so from there we can now solve FDE using your calculator it is negative so it is compression 297.0 kilonewtons compression then having found FDE next target is EI so we proceed to joint E so these are the unknown forces this is the required force EI then we need the angle that EF makes with the horizontal as well as EI by symmetry they are these angles are equal theta EI equals theta EF and the angle is arctan of 4 over 6 4 vertical 6 horizontal 4 vertical 6 horizontal and that is 33.69 degrees so we set RE horizontal or horizontal component of resultant at E0 so FEF rightward, so this is taken positive FEF cosine of 33.69 degrees. Then FEI is to the left, so minus FEI cosine of 33.69 degrees also, the horizontal component. Then minus FDE, so minus negative 297 because the sign of FDE is negative cosine of 16.699 degrees that's the horizontal component of FDE simplifying FEF cosine 33.69 degrees minus FEI cosine 33.69 degrees equals 
negative 284.47. Call that equation 1. Then, RE vertical equals 0. Vertical component of resultant is 0. So, this is upward FDE. So, neg equals negative 297 sine of 16.699. It's the vertical component of FDE. Then, minus FEF sine of 33.69. Minus 75, then minus FEF sine of 33.69 degrees. Then FEI is also downward, so minus FEI sine of 33.69 degrees. So transposing these two to the left, so we have FEF sine 33.69 plus FEI sine of 33.69 equals negative 297 sine 16.699 minus 75 and that is negative 160.34 equation 2. So solving equations 1 and 2 by elimination, substitution or whatever convenient method you want or by determinant or by Kramer's rule or any available method then we have FEF equals negative 315.47 kilonewton so it is compression but that not, that's not required we need FEI FEI is equal to 26.42 kilonewtons so positive so it is tension next is FI which is this one we cannot find that yet because we do not know FG so HI Observe that joint H here, this HI and GH are collinear and there's this oblique member FH or HF. This is a zero force member by case 2. So that's zero. So if that is zero because HI and GH are collinear, then the force in GH is also the force in HI. You should be quick with that because there are so many problems we encountered then you should know the principles already so fgh is equal to hi we need to solve for fgh so we isolate this joint h joint g here the angle that gh makes with the horizontal is arc tan of 14 over horizontal distance 6 plus 6 plus 4 16 Arctan of 14 over 16 is, I'll just label it, 41.186 degrees. While the angle that FG makes with the vertical is Arctan of 4 over 14, and that is 15.945 degrees. So at joint G, these are the unknowns, method of joints. I make GH red because it is equal to HI also. Whatever is the force in GH, that's the force in HI, which is required. So, RG horizontal equals zero, or the horizontal component of resultant at G zero, or summation forces horizontal zero, considering leftward positive because all these forces are leftward. So, FGH cosine of 41.186 degrees, then plus FG, FFG sine of 15.945 degrees so these are the forces involved because this is zero so we express ffg in terms of fgh so it is negative negative cosine 41.186 over sine 15.945 degrees so ffg is negative 2.7395 fgh then rg vertical or the vertical component of resultant at g0 so, vertical component of FGH is FGH sine of 41.186 degrees plus F, FG cosine of 15.945 degrees, then plus 150. So, replacing FFG with negative 2.7395 FGH. Which is this, so cosine 15.945 degrees plus 150. Now we can now solve FGH, the only unknown in this case. 
So FGH is equal to 75.93 kilonewtons. It is positive, so it is tension. Since, as mentioned earlier, FGH is FHI, so FHI is 75.93 kilonewtons tension. Then, the value of FFG, because we need that, we isolate joint F to solve for FI. So FFG is negative 2.7395 of 75.93. So, FFG is compression or negative 208.0 kN. Finally, we isolate joint F. Let's draw the figure, FBD. So, this is FI required and this FFG is also known downward. And take note, the angles are already found. FEF is also found, negative 315.47. So, to solve for FFI, set RF horizontal 0 or the horizontal component at F0 or simply summation forces horizontal 0. So, let's begin with FFG because it is rightward but it is negative. So, equals negative 208 sine of 15.945, the horizontal component of FFG, negative 208 sine of 15.945 minus FFI to the left, then minus FEF, so minus negative 315.47 cosine of 33.69, the angle that EF makes with horizontal. So that's it. We can now solve FFI. So FFI is equal to 205.3 kilonewtons. It is positive, so it is tension. So that's it.